Hey guys, so um, today I'll be showing you how to make these custom sound files for Warhammer 3. Uh, this is um, like this is only replacing files. I don't actually know how to make brand new files yet. Um, so yeah. So you need three programs. You need Rusted Pack File Manager. You need Asset Editor, and you need um, uh, WYS. So. Um, you'll be able to find them on Google or whatever. So I'll show you first what to do. We'll do this. And wait for this to load. And your options, um, no tools, audio, audio explorer. And so I, I, I did the throg one, so we'll use throg as an example. So I type frog. And then you see here, there's a heap of throg stuff. And um, see those, that's the diplomacy lines. That's um, like he's, uh, he's all his grunts and everything. And um, front end is the, the stuff at the start of the game. And then this, this thing here, these are the quest battle lines. And that there is uh, the advisor flyover, which doesn't happen anymore. So let's play this. Click this one. And click Talk this. quick before I get hungry again. So that's that's how that works. And you need this here, this little um, number source ID. That is that's that's the W E M file. That's actually the sound file. So we're going to get that sound file. And then we're going to put it into um, into uh, the game. So, all right, let me see here. So here is I have uh, gotten my new voice actor, and um, I've gotten all these sounds and extracted them out got all the script and everything ready for him, gave him that, and then so... Uh, a welcome distraction from my loneliness. So that is the new sound file for that sound we just found, so now let's replace that. So to do that, you've got to go into this program WeWise now, which is, um... WeWise. I don't know why I call it WeWise. It just rolls off the tongue better. So I click on that. There's all sorts of tutorials and stuff. This program is like some massive big program that all the official companies use to do their sound files. It's like a whole thing, but I'm only using it like literally for the most simplest of things. So I go new, I just say like throg project. All right, well, this is a blank new file for WeWise. Okay, now here's, this is very important. This is what stopped me a long time. It never worked because I didn't do this step, which is project settings, source settings, default conversion settings. You have to change that to Vorbis quality high or else uh, the Total War program doesn't, un it doesn't understand the sound file. It doesn't like, can't, it just, it won't play the sound. You'll put it in, but because you haven't set it to Vorbis quality high, nothing will play. So that, I was stuck on that for the longest time. So you do that. Oh, and, start, and, and then you go, yeah, okay, so now I've set that to that, and then I go import. Um, and then I go, I just add folders. Oh, that's not going to work too well. Hang on, I'll make. And then I add that folder, and now it's picked up that sound. You can do it in batches, but I'm just doing one now just to show you. So, okay, now it's in there. And then um, you go to File, Convert. And then that's it, it's converted. Uh, now, one more thing that's very important that I also had trouble with once. Um, you change the conversion thing first. If you import the file, then change the conversion thing to Vorbis, then go Export, it doesn't actually change it to Vorbis. That screwed me over once as well. So make sure the very first thing you do when you open up a project is change it to Vorbis, then import your files. All right, so now I've done that. 
Um, now I'm searching. It's it's converted it, but I'm like, where the fuck is that? It converted it to here. I've just searched. So that's where it's converted it to. Now, um, here's something another user Draz here told me. Because if you're doing these in big batches, right, it's got it's added this extra bit on the end, which you um you don't want that because it's not going to be able to read it. It's not going to be able to read it now, so you have to actually delete that to uh, make it. Now you've got the file you want, but um, if you're doing this in big batches, it's actually a pain in the ass to do that over and over again. So I use the program called Windows PowerShell, which you should already have installed in your computer. And that right there is um, the code you use. Um, so yeah, have a look at that. Uh, um, it's pointing at the, you've got it, that C drive frog is where it's, that's not where it's pointed at now. So, um, let me just go C drive frog. You've got to just point it at the directory where the file's at and you're renaming it. Um, yeah, that's right. And now watch this, just press enter there. And then see that, and now if you've got a big batch of those, it'll just take that all out for you, make it nice and easy. All right. So now we've got our file, we've converted it into the .wem format, which the game needs. And um, let me just show you now, I'm going, well, now we're going to put it into the pack file to play. So here's an example, this here is uh, the, pa the pack file of the finished Strog mod. As you can see, that's everything there. Um, so we're gonna we just all we gotta do here is make sure this uh, folder structure is correct so we go um, what I do go create folder create folder <clears throat> and you get the picture. Now we go add file. We get this. Bang! There it is. That's now a pack file. That will now that sound file has now been replaced. When you boot up the game, it'll play your sound file, not the one that is in there previously. And uh, one other thing to show you is um, we've got here this text section. So this is. Um, this is basically what you want to do if you want to change these subtitles as well. So that's the um, diplomacy strings there. That's all of them. So I've just got them there. And you find them in a pack file called local underscore en in the data folder. So you can get all your, you can search through all that there. Uh, and then the other one for subtitles is um, scripted subtitles, which is the quest battle subtitle. So if you're changing a character, you'll want to do that. So yeah, that should be everything. I think I've explained everything. Um, so that's just how you replace sound files. You'll obviously want to spend a lot of time here in this program just looking around, searching for all sorts of things you want to replace. Like, it's massive. I'm pretty sure someone's told me, um, like, this is the biggest WYS project in the world, uh, Total War Warhammer, the trilogy. They've got that many sound files. But um, all it does is replace them, so that's the problem. So say you wanted to do Albrick, right? He doesn't have, he, everyone wants him to be changed. He, he, the only sound file he has is, is the Trident of Manan quest battle. All his um, all his dialogue is just the generic Britannian Lord. So I, I can't really use the replace method on him because I just it means all the generic Lords would also sound like Albrick. As, because the problem is, you'd actually what you actually need is to make these new events, which is something that modders can't do yet, and I don't think we'll ever be able to do unless I don't know. Maybe maybe something will change, but it's it's beyond me at the moment. There is one way you could make Albrick work, and that is if you made an Albrick who was actually not Albrick, he was like Nakai the Wanderer. He had all of Nakai's audio files, but you know you made him look exactly like Albrick. He's just using Nakai's voice files. Then you could change all of Nakai's voice files to your new Albrick sound effects. And then that would work well for a Britannian playthrough. The only problem would be if you went, if you interacted as Albrick with Nakai, uh, or if you had the mod running, your Nakai in, would sound like Albrick now. So it's not a perfect solution, 
but that is one something we could definitely do right now using this technique all right lads that should be everything if you have any questions i might answer them if or i might not i don't know just um that should be you shouldn't need to ask any questions it should be all good but um you can hit up the discord and, and comments and stuff and, and get help that way uh yeah good luck with the audio modding boys and girls